I am the first girl of my family to get to go to the college. Getting the scholarship was not as hard as convincing my family that I should go. My friend applied for me because I was too scared that my family would be angry or my brother would never talk with me again or worse. When I got the call for the interview, I told my mother. She was not exactly supportive, but she discussed with my father. When the scholarship award letter came, my brother opened it while I was out. I really wanted this opportunity, but my father was sick and could not accompany me to the medical exam. I'm not allowed to go without a man and my brother is the only one. I begged my mother to talk with him. He left the house in anger slamming the door. She cried. And so did I. I don't know why he changed his mind. Maybe my mother's tears. But two days later he took me. When I left the country, my father faced a lot of pressure from my relatives. I knew if I were their son, living for the US, they would be proud. But I saw trust in my father's eyes for me. My mother said, Now, you are responsible for our family respect and we trust on you. After spending six months in the US, I can finally see proud for me in my brother's eyes when we Skype. Last week, I told my parents, I'm thinking of applying for a job in Dubai. I thought I would need many explanations, but my mother, who is usually afraid of what people think, told me that I'm sensible, that I can do it. Everything is different now. My brother applied for this scholarship and asked for me my help. My mom told me my two female cousins got admission in universities. Their parents allow them just because of me. My sister has also started her college. This scholarship was not just for me. I understand this now. It was for my whole community, my relatives, and my family. My experience, my belief in myself against all odds has changed the mentality about girls' education. I feel my experience has opened a heavy door for all girls of my community.